everyone, thanks for joining again. Uh, it's Michelle and today I wanted to do something just like a little different. Um, instead of like a crazy tutorial, I just wanted to do kind of like a decorate with me and some suggestions that I use when I do uh, my shakers. So I made a whole bunch of shakers and I had a bunch of scrap vellum and I decided, because you know the projects I've been using lately, so I decided that I was going to um, take the leftover scraps, uh, you know, because I save every piece of paper like, you know, most crafters do, and uh, make some shakers with them. So I thought I would make a couple with you guys and show you what I have done and some ideas. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ideas you can do with shakers, obviously. And so I'm just here to show you some of them. So of course you have the average, um, sequins which I use often because of my shop so I always have tons of leftover sequins and I love to put them in my shakers but not just that I actually like to use the um, collections that I make and put them in here and then another idea is to just add your um, you know uh, pieces in there your um, embellishments and put them inside and that right there makes a pretty um, fun shaker without um you know having to glue it on another is i just simply put glitter and um you can add glitter and i just use these little uh you know little sticks with the confetti in them so if you have some confetti you can just go ahead and add that and mix it with the glitter just leave it by itself here's more um a sequence but i add a little bit of the little um poly clay in there so you can see I don't know if you can see like little stars I love that in there too and here's some more but these are sprinkles and this I just took a tag and um, sewed it the vellum on there rather than making its own pocket and lastly um, this is just some little paper cuts that I made um, the best what I like to do besides you know especially if you don't have sequins is take your punch and punch them out any shape you want. You can use circles, you can use hearts, you can use stars, and they just create these beautiful shakers as well as adding your embellishments on top. So let's go ahead and make some and see what happens. So I have my sewing machine next to me. I did a couple of strips, so um, I did this, but I left the pocket open on the top so that you guys can kind of do this along with me and I'll sew, um, I'll sew the top while we're doing this. So if it's loud for a second, I'm sorry. So let's start with something easy like a um, like a punch. So I'm just taking scraps, which I love to save. I'm sure you guys do too. And I'm gonna use my punch. And if you don't have any fancy punches, just use your standard hole punch. Um, that works fine too. So I just chomped this twice and I'm gonna go ahead and add it in here. fun to get in while I'm filming. Just gonna add these in. Shakers are just relaxing to me and fun. So when I don't really feel like doing anything crazy, I just like to do um, this. So I just added a couple in there. I feel like I need just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add just a few more. Okay, and this is kind of a small one, so I think I'm just gonna leave out this. I'm just gonna sew it real quick. One day I'll have this whole setup so that you can see the sewing machine. Um, I believe, oh wow, that was a bad job, but um, because the way I have to turn. Um, but someone asked me what kind of sewing machine I have and I couldn't find the thread again. Um, but it's a really inexpensive one because I had just started sewing about a year and a half ago probably and I was learning. So I grabbed a real cheap one at Walmart and it's the Brother JX2517 and it was like 80 bucks or something like that or $90 and it was just really cheap. 
look at this okay this is because i'm filming so just pretend um it looks nice okay and then i like to take um you know some grabbing because i want to try and use up these project life things so i'm gonna go ahead and try and use these up i love little pieces like this that you can stick on and just like add it on there and i usually just sew it right here too so like this this is probably my favorite type of shaker so let me sew this real quick hopefully i don't do a half job okay so i just sewed that little piece on there okay and then just try to find some embellishments to add on and make it pretty and then i also like you guys know the simple stories their lettering is perfect for these little shakers i love to use them um because they're just big enough um for these kind of projects so right there that's just cute just like that I probably would have normally filled it more, just a little bit, but um, because I don't wanna take so long. And then let me see if anything else can fit on there. That's kind of cute. I'll stick this on there. It's a little flower, it's like a Dare Lizzy, um, it's the Project Life set by Dear Lizzie. So, okay, there's just one pretty shaker. And next, let's do, um, let's do the bigger one and do some sequins in there. Which I have some right here. As you can see, I just kind of mix it up. These are some leftovers from my shop. And I don't, I don't add too much because when you're sewing, it's just, not pretty. Let me sew this on real quick. I don't know how this is going to be filming considering you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. But I just can't see my sewing machine on my desk right now while filming. It's kind of impossible for me right now. So you can see how it looks. Just enough um, sequins in there. And now's the fun part. Decorate it. So let's see here. Here, I'll put it here so you guys can see what's going on. It's just this. I love this. I've been wanting to use this. I think that's too small though. That cloud is kind of cute, but I feel like it needs something to go with it. Actually, I kind of like this here. So I think I'm gonna sew that on there. If you don't have a sewing machine, just glue it. So I really like that there. Just so simple. And it doesn't have to be all crazy, um, you know, to look good. Let's see what else is in here. I really have no idea. I just kind of pulled this out. So I'm kind of just winging it like I do. That's pretty. I don't know if it goes with that. I feel like maybe this would be a good size for this. I kind of like it just like this. I'm just going to check and see if there's anything else.
go on here. I think I'm gonna leave it just because I like it like that and I think it would be pretty inside of a, um, like a shaker or an album or something. So there's two and let me see what we can do with this little one right here. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and make some circles and see what happens. So you probably wanna make a few different size circles. So if you have a couple of hole punches, like one's a half inch and one's a five eighth of an inch, just to change the circle size. So I'm just gonna stick this in here. And you see how this tag has some gold in it? Yes, I destroyed a really perfectly good tag, but it's for a good reason. I feel like the gold together would be really nice. And I think I want just one more. Okay, let me sew this up. Oh boy, that was crooked. As you could hear my foot pedal, how fast I was going, I needed to slow down. Okay, so I really wanna use this and hoping this one looks good with this. Well, one of these at least. So since it has the gold. I think I'm just gonna put it right there with the um I'll glue it on. I'll spare you guys the noise. And I don't want to hack it off. It's so hard because I'm like turning and it's on this little thing that it shouldn't be on, so I can do this at the same time. And I wonder what's in here. Let me check this one. I took, I took this out, but I didn't use it. This is a different collection, but I saw this in there. Okay, that's not gonna match. It drives me crazy if it doesn't really match. I love these numbers, so maybe the numbers can go on there. And so if someone has a birthday, you can add two shakers with their digits on it or one, however old they're turning. But it looks pretty just like that. So that's just a couple examples of like how I would make my shaker. Um, and they're just so easy and fun, but you see how easy it is for them to come to life. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just a few, um, fun ideas and I just want to upload something that you guys could, you know, do that were really simple, just fun, relaxing projects. Oh, and wait, I forgot I took out the, uh, my crystal drops. So, um, if you want to make your project pop a little more, you can add your little drops and pop, pop them on there to give it a little powwow. So you don't always have to um, just use paper. You can just, you know, switch it up. I just forgot to show you guys that. So there you go, and it will dry and it'll be so cute and you can add it in your little project. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching.